has ink. This pen has ink flowing from its tip, burgeoning forth like a tomato vine, particularly the kind growing out there in the garden this mid-July night. The all through May and June climbed up the wire trestles that kept them from tangling all together in the swampy soil and from dropping their fruits for only the beetles and earthworms. The ink in this pen forms letters, and sometimes poetry. And usually it's less poisonous than the tomato's nasty relatives, those of the belladonna family, those that are called deadly nightshade. But this shady night, this thunderborn night with all its inkiness, will lead to another day, a day that will ripen the tomatoes in the garden until they're red and plump and primed for picking for me and the beetles and the earthworms. And those ripe red tomatoes will be sweet with their tangy twang, the fruits of an otherwise unseeming vine that would grow any which way it pleased, just like the ink in this pen, which just by chance happened to form poetry this mid-July night. The second one, is called Amphibian. Fresh from the yoke, I began to swim, a youthful tadpole learning the ways of the pond. But there was that shimmer by the top of the reeds that seemed to grow brighter as I grew legs. And one day, I jumped out. And the air was so wonderful that I flew away. third one is titled Cross Country, my fanatical devotion. All right, so the title is Cross Country. Splattered with mud, soaked in the fog, we roll through it almost willingly, with the songs we heard playing loud in our heads to match our pounding feet and hearts, to speed against the clock and apply a special relativity until our shoes get untied. Amongst the sticks and falling woods, our pulse is raging, like the lunar tide, in, in, out, out, as we've been trained to breathe again and to swing forwards. Run tall, says an echo, our eyes on the summit, disregarding our aching limbs, nearly shaking with fatigue, but pressing on, because we must and don't need a reason. <laughs> <laughs> 